You've probably heard by now that inflation remains really, really high. Everybody keeps talking about inflation, 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 inflation. Inflation is seen as the biggest business risk for 29% of our global CFOs in our Q3 survey. Inflation's, it's a bit like toothpaste. Once you get it out of the tube, it's, it's hard to get it back in, right? To determine how inflation is impacting household spending, economists turn to the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. Not only does the CPI reflect whether the Federal Reserve is in line with its 2% inflation target, it can also affect the income of millions of Americans. Government agencies use a version of the CPI to adjust Social Security payments and food stamp eligibility. The monthly inflation figure also shifts federal tax brackets to adjust for inflation. The CPI can also spur massive moves in the stock market. But how is the index compiled in the first place? The Consumer Price Index is the average change in the prices paid by consumers for a basket of goods and services over time. The Bureau of Labor Statistics breaks down the CPI's basket of goods into eight major groups. When calculating the index, certain goods and services are often given a greater weight given their importance in the nation's spending habits, like housing and energy costs. To determine which goods go in the basket, the BLS uses survey data from tens of thousands of consumers across the country. An additional group of consumers are asked to keep diaries of everything they bought for two weeks to determine the most frequently purchased items. The Bureau's staff collect up to 94,000 prices per month through personal visits and telephone calls to thousands of retailers, offices, and households across the U.S. The agency also collects 8,000 rental housing quotes to compute the housing component. The CPI reflects both the monthly and yearly change in prices, but how the index affects you will largely depend on your spending habits. For example, maybe rising gas prices don't matter as much if you, say, live in a major city and don't have a car. But if you have above average medical needs, rising costs for doctor visits could mean your personal inflation rate may exceed the increase in the CPI. Critics of the CPI also point out that the calculation leaves out some Americans in rural parts of the country, given that the samples are collected in urban areas. Still, there's no doubt that the CPI has been among the most closely watched economic indicators this year as inflation climbs to its highest level in four decades.